part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. To do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions, and welcome back to Game 3 of the match between Blue White Humans and Frights Reanimator. Kenneth started on the play with a Plains and cast a Champion of the Parish, and then Caleb laid down a Razor Verge Thicket and used it to put a Birds of Paradise into play. Kenneth laid down a Glacial Fortress and then attacked for 1, taking Caleb to 19. Then Caleb cast a Mulch and found 1 land. He then laid down a Copperline Gorge and played an Avacyn's Pilgrim. Kenneth resolved a Mirren Crusader on his turn, pumping his champion to a 2-2. He then attacked with the champion, which Caleb took, going down to 17. Caleb started his next turn by playing a Black Cleave Cliffs. He then cast a Land of War Elves and followed it up by using a Lingering Souls to get himself two spirits. Kenneth chose just to attack with his Crusader on his next turn, so Caleb Chum blocked it with one of his spirits. Then on Caleb's turn, he played a Forest and then put a Drog Skull Reaver into play. At the end of the turn, Kenneth used a Midnight Haunting to get himself two spirits. He then used an Oblivion Ring on his turn to get rid of Caleb's Reaver. He then attacked with his Crusader and his two spirits, so Caleb Chump blocked the Crusader with one of his spirits again and then took the other two damage, going to 15. Caleb started his next turn with the Tracker's Instincts and ended up putting all four cards in his graveyard. He then flashed back an Unburial Rites, which just got put in his graveyard, to return another Reaver from his graveyard to play. Kenneth played a second Mirren Crusader on his turn, but chose to pass without attacking, so at the end of the turn, Caleb flashed back a Ray of Revelation to destroy the Oblivion Ring and get his other Reaver back. Caleb then attacked with both of his Reavers on his turn, so Kenneth Chump blocked them both with his two Spirits. This netted Caleb two more cards and gained six life going up to 21. Then post-combat, Caleb played an Elish Norn Grand Cenobite from his hand, at which point Kenneth scooped it up, giving Caleb the win to the game and the match. So that's it for this gameplay, I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version in the annotations at the end, along with links to my vlog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.